Well, I'm going to be honest with you, my desk is kind of messy. But I think this looks good on it. Uh, kind of matches that retro looking lamp. Huh. This is a very old fan from the uh, the Cousins and Fern Company. The Cousins and Fern Company? I don't know how you say that. C U S S I N S and F E A R N Company. You know, spelled different than Cousins and spelled different than Fern. I don't know. Anyway, though, as you can see, you can see some of my wires in there. This originally had a flat power cord and the round power cord spliced together. Also, when I got it, the stand was on backwards. Looked kind of stupid. I could never fi figure out when I first got it how you would hang that on a wall or something. Um, <laughs> you know, obviously because it'd be going this way. And, you know, the fan would still be pointing down at you, but, uh, you know, <laughs> it would, uh, you know, if you switch the fan around, it would be blowing up. Or uh, down, actually. Well, because you, you really can't use it that way. So when I put the fan on correctly, now you can use it and it would blow down at you. Um, I guess this fan is sold that never had a power cord. Uh, with or a, a switch on this, and it had a, maybe a switch on the power cord or something like that. Or you plug in, that would just turn on because maybe this store, um, I believe it was a store, uh, maybe they were a little bit cheaper, uh, almost like a big lots of today. So I put this switch on it, and I just ran the cord out where it could go. And uh, you flick it over one way, and it turns it on. You flick over the other way, it turns it off. It's a two-pole switch. Um, I got them for like a dollar each or something. Um, and it's two-pole. Uh, and I used both, both poles on it uh, to switch the... Um, uh, power because it's an uh, unpolarized cord. And I just simply got that cord off of um, an old lamp because um, I'm a little bit picky with having uh, updated electric on, on old things. So what I did was simply um, went ahead and, and took that cord and just recycled on this fan. So I've got it clicked over. Oh me for a second. Kind of takes off and it kind of jumps around a bit. Really crazy. <laughs> I don't know what that clocking noise is. The um, the armature on it. Uh, make sure I turn it off here. Because it scares me a bit. The armature on it kind of shifts back and forth. Um, I could never figure out why. It's almost like they took it apart and modified this fan at some time. There's the, kind of matches the period, I guess. This fan was probably someplace in the 50s. Um, so, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Um, originally took it apart because I was going to repaint the whole thing. And uh, took it apart, went to do all that. No, nope, never happened. As you can see here, but actually, it looks different than in person. There's spots on that when somebody actually tried scraping off the paint. Um, so it was in pretty bad shape when I got it. And it's in at least working shape where it's pretty decent now. Um, hops around a bit, probably because the bumpers on it are worn down so much. Um, you almost need to hang it on a wall or, or screw it to a piece of wood or something. Um, but I don't know, maybe I'll end up using it. Um, they're pretty rare as it's, uh, I don't think I have a tape measure over here. No, it's pretty rare as it's, uh, what, about, I don't know, 7 inch? By a whole hand, about 7 inch. Yeah, it's about 7 inch. Um, Typically, I see nine-inch desk fans and stuff, so it's, it's quite a quite a bit smaller than any other fan I've ever seen. I paid fifteen dollars at a flea market years ago, um, and after the work and sitting around here, if somebody wants it, I'd probably sell it for thirty bucks. 
just because, you know, I put a, a new power cord on it, put a dollar and a switch, and uh, put some heat shrink in there and stuff. And I did oil it up. I mean, you know, I'm going to make a couple bucks on something for the, the time I put packing materials and everything together to make ten dollars or something. It's, it's not, you know, nothing too significant. So, well, real quick, let's take a look at the new modem I have, the original one. I put that over there. Let's put that over there. The original one was from um, about nine years ago, although uh, that's when they originally started being used. Um, I only had it for probably six or something. I can't remember. It was about five or six years. We got high speed internet, I think, when I went in high school. And that's, that's, I think, when I started using Facebook and everything. Not Facebook, but MySpace, and that was actually a lot faster, I remember. It was impressive how fast uh, DSL is. So modem 7500 has the four inputs on it, so I'm going to get rid of the hub and the router. It's also uh, wireless, so that's good. you got internet connectivity, DSL, and then your power light. And then these are just little vents. It's pretty crazy uh, hot you know, on it. Uh, so I need to kind of keep that propped up. Um, and then i got to get the printer all set up for wireless. So. Not that anybody cares, but thanks for watching.